Hello, Fire Signs, Aries, Sag, Leo. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, we're going to be looking at your ex person, okay, the person you were connected to, especially if you are in no contact with them. What's been going on since you've been gone, since you've left the picture here, Fire Signs? So, um, it is intended for you and also to the cross watchers. So thank you again for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and also signing up to membership for the channel. Um, if you are after private reading, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, let's see what's coming up. Since you've been gone, fire signs, what's been happening with your person? Okay definitely coming up in their reading so Leo we've got the strength card that has come up they're in a period of strength okay their focus or their attention is strengthening themselves mind body soul spirit type kind of energy okay so we've got the nine of Pentacles three of cups um, this person is focusing on their friendships and other relationships since you've been gone. So I feel like straight away I get a sense that um, you have created a void. So especially if you spent a lot of time together or you felt like you could be each other's best friend and you always did things together, suddenly there's been a void created and it's pushed this person away to rekindle friendships. So I get that they've actually focused on people they've lost touch with or people they neglected while you were together. Like they didn't make time for these friends and family when you were together in your little love bubble and now all of a sudden, since you've been gone, the focus is on repairing and mending friendships, whether it's like distant or long lost friendships. But I also feel like I'm, I'm picking up an energy that this person had like a falling out and they told you about it. You know, they must have said, I don't speak to my parents or my brother, sister or my friend. They specifically told you about a friendship or a disconnection that they had in their lives. And I feel like you had always encouraged them to repair that. Um, and maybe they never did. But since you've been gone, they've actually taken the action. Um, as the Knight of Wands does, he sort of dives into it. Um, they, As soon as you left, it's like they jumped into that action of repairing that connection that you had always supported. So you have obviously had an influence on them, fire signs, for them to do that. Because why else would they make all that effort? And why else would they do that if it just didn't get them anywhere, right? So you've left that mark on them, I feel. And it's made them feel good about themselves with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, I also feel like they've they've focused on career or they've accomplished something since you've been gone. And it's something to do with money. So they've paid off all debts. They've squared off with someone. Maybe they've paid you back if they owed you money. Um, I feel like anything or anyone they were in debt to, they were able to release that now. And this is good because this shows financial maturity. So especially if you didn't see that in this person and you're probably kicking yourself like, why now? Why did I, after I left, only now they're doing it. Isn't that the way it goes? It's, it's a hard pill to swallow, but I feel like that's the case with them. Let's look at these wand energies because I feel like this is you, fire signs. Sorry, um, it's the page, page and the knight of wands. So Paige tells me they could be flirting or speaking with other people, maybe being a little bit not very mature about it and jumping into things. So I feel like they may have been intimate with someone else. Um, it could be like a lust thing. Look at these fin, these, these flames. So I feel like someone that they were lusting after has entered their life. Or it could be like they're talking to people, but it's purely for lust. Okay, it's purely to get, you know... To get themselves pleasure type thing i don't feel like there's any substance there or anything deeper than just having that lust connection that they have so i feel like they may be more open to love right now they may be flirting with some people but i'm not seeing a significant relationship right now because i don't feel like they're in that position of strength um there's lots of ego coming up with the lion here but i feel like they're on the lookout so i don't know if they have been like looking you up online They've been trying to hear things from you or about you from social media or through mutual friends. I feel like they may have been something, something there. The Ten of Pentacles is reversed and that would be that relationship card, you know, building foundations. I don't feel like there's, there's much focus on that. 
So they may be going out, they may be drinking. Knight of Wands is reversed though. So um, they're not making, they're taking action, but not too much. So Page of Wands is a bit of effort. Knight of Wands is more effort. So even if they are connecting with someone, then they're not putting that effort in. Okay, it's Page and the Page is flimsy. Okay, yep, one day he feels like, or she feels like doing something, they'll do it. The other day, mm, no, someone else has their attention and people are picking up on that energy and they're like, well, they're not really interested. So if you're scared that your ex is, is talking to someone right now, it's like it's a one minute they're interested, next minute they're probably thinking about you. And that person who your ex is talking to is like, well, what's going on? Because they're sending me mixed messages. And attraction and lust only last so long, you know, that honeymoon period. Because eventually all those chemicals subside and we, we get to the reality of the person, right? So eventually it happens that stage we all reach that stage you know the honeymoon period doesn't last forever so i feel like they're they're coming on strong like this is potentially like they might be love bombing someone or they're like coming on to them so strong because whatever happened between you they might be trying to make you jealous you know not surprised because page of ones can make people jealous um so it might not be that their intention is to find a person per se. It's more to make you jealous and see how you react because maybe they still want a reaction from you. So maybe that's what they're doing, fire signs. They're waiting for you to react and see if you still care. And it's it's game playing, it is. So maybe I get page of ones makes me think it's a bit immature. So they might be they might be immature in their response, but could be their friends egging them on as well with the three of cups that friendship card so it could be the friends that are saying you know go out see this new person or how about i set you up on a blind date but even if they go they're not their best version they're not delivering 110 percent. so the person the version i should say that your ex is displaying is one that is not overly interested not committal um more focused on friends rather than everything than anyone else. I get that they might even be blowing off potential dates for friends. And like I said, the friends is is to fill to fill that void. Fire signs, the void that they're trying to fill since you haven't been in their life. So it, it hasn't been an easy road for them. Um, and I get that they're still very very attracted. There's more fire cards than anything, and fire is attraction. It's lust. So I still feel like. They could even be comparing, like no one compares in terms of attraction because they keep comparing them to you, okay? They did this for me. Sexually, they were X, Y, and Z. They were this, they did that. So they're not finding it and that's probably attributing more to that struggle that they're going through. Um, but I'll leave it there, Fire Signs. I do hope that has been helpful. Drop a like if you've enjoyed this content um, and also subscribe to the channel to get updates for more readings coming for your sign and for your element. Otherwise, I do hope to be in touch again very soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.